In this episode, we're going to review some big changes which occurred in the game today during the maintenance period, as well as look at the details that they just released about the next Rebellion airdrop, which is going to be a Legendary Summoner. If this intrigues you, please stand by. Hey all you splinterheads, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying thanks for dropping by. I appreciate your time. If you're enjoying my Splinterlands uh, directed content, please leave a like and subscribe and forward out to your friends if they're interested. Okay, with that said, uh, we had some pretty significant things go live during the maintenance period today. Um, the first of which is the Baron's Bounty Bitcoin halving event, which is a mouthful. I went over this in a previous video and I will leave a link in the show notes for that because I went over the details and did all the numbers for that. Um, so we won't go over that again, but that went live today and today is the best time to get in on it if you're going to get in on it due to the uh, bonuses that you will get uh, that count down towards the end. So with that said, check out the video if you want to know the details. Otherwise, uh, as usual, I will leave the links to these um, articles I'm referencing uh, today. There's going to be two different articles um, in the show notes, so you can check those out. So um, we've already talked about Baron Fiat and the Henchling Enforcer, and a lot of people have done videos on that. So um, I'm not going to get in on this one. Um, they do look like interesting cards to me, um, but I'm not going to get in on this due to the prohibitive cost. Um, so the, the next thing I did want to mention is that uh, there were some big changes as far as tech modernization. And it, if you uh, haven't logged into the game yet or lately, you will notice some big changes. And we'll take a, a few minutes and look at those after we, we talk about the rest of this. Um, but once again, it's um, changes that they've been talking about, changes to make the UI more mobile, uh, mobile browser friendly, as well as they are starting to add and implement and add in some of the um, some of the things they've been talking about as far as improving the new user experience. So we'll go over that here in a, a few minutes. But uh, one of the main things I want to talk about is they uh, they released the information on uh, the fourth conflict is upcoming and they released the information on uh, the airdrop here. So we'll go over to the separate page here. Um, once again, I will leave the link in the show notes. Uh, they give some good backstory, some good uh, color uh, storyline here. Um, but the main details here is uh, are uh, he's uh, he's uh, this is the first one that's created by a user. I don't think they said who created it, but I might have missed that. Uh, once again, uh, going along, he's a dual splinter card. He's death and fire. He's a legendary, and check this out. Uh, he will give plus one magic and plus one melee across the board, whatever you play. Okay, but then you have the choice of picking two different sets of powers. Fury and Trample, or Affliction and Life Leech, depending upon which way you go. And obviously, if uh, you're matching up a big t against a big tank or something or other, the Fury and Trample would be better. Uh, depending upon your strategy, this looks like a great card to me. Uh, I haven't really sat down and thought out the possibilities yet, but it's pretty cool. I like dual Splinter Things uh, cards. But those two powers, you can assign to two cards that you play. So uh, what we're seeing here is what they've been talking about, and then they've uh, slowly been releasing dual splinter uh, cards as we've gone along. Um, this, ser this serves to, if you step back and look at the game, it serves to add extra layers of complexity to the game. You know, And I'm sure there's, there's a lot of people out there that speak better to this than myself, but it's, uh, we're get going into a situation where the game is getting more complex and harder to program bots to use these newer cards effectively because there's so many different routes you can take with them okay now i'm not t i'm not saying it's making it impossible for bots i'm just saying that the levels of complexity um, as far as the choices involved are getting harder and it's going to be harder to program the ai for the bots or however the bots are running um, uh, to use these effectively. Either way, looks like a, uh, a cool card, and it will be the next airdrop, which is in the fourth, uh, fourth air, it'll be the fourth airdrop, okay? Um, by the numbers, it says that um, 
Like previous conflicts, 4,000 copies of Lorcus will be airdropped to participating participating players based on their total reward chances when the conflict ends, but this go-around it will take 300 reward chances to guarantee a copy of the card. Um, and then they leave links here on how to use those. Um, and it looks like it's got quite a few likes, 439. Um, I didn't look at any of the, uh, any of the comments on that. But <clears throat> um, then they also listed uh, some hot fixes that went into the game. One interesting change I see and I want to call out here is that accounts without spell books will now appear as unranked and will no longer appear on the leaderboards. Once again, uh, towards this gradual evolution to trying to f fight bots and fight low-end um, accounts that are trying to pull out of the game and not add anything to the overall infrastructure. So. Um, I did want to call that out. Now, let's jump over to the game. Uh, and if you haven't logged in yet, yes, I do know I have a tournament and I do know I have to do my phrase. Um, but you'll see a drastic change in the UI, okay? The whole UX, right? Um, so I haven't gotten used to this yet. It'll take a little bit to get used to. Um, these cards to me are kind of small. Of course, I'm a little bit older and uh, vision, uh, impaired, challenged, if you will. Um, but like I said, um, this is a move towards uh, making it easier for using mobile browsers. Um, like the artwork, this is the newest airdrop that's fixing to happen. Um, if you don't know about that, um, it's, I believe, got six days. Also, you will notice that if you go into the shop, they've added a separate tab for the Baron's Bounty event, which will make it easier um, for you to figure out what you need uh, to buy the cards you're interested in. It will also show your multiplier points. Uh, at this point, it's a th three times at the three, three X um, multiplier. So actually it's 2.86. So it's counting down. Um, so uh, keep that in mind. But what I, another point was they moved the rebellion tab to a separate tab in and of itself. And you will see that uh, the current rebellion uh, conflict has a little bit over six days left. So um, if you want to up your chances, you need to stake more, and we've already went over that. But uh, uh, I haven't pumped my wagons uh, since the last one. It's remained pretty much the same. I'll probably have about 70 or so chances. It is what it is. Um, so if I like the card, I'll just buy one. You know me. I like singles. Um, so there we go with that. Now let's go back. Um, I wanted to point that out because that was a change. Now, something else you'll notice that's relatively new here is the Academy up here. If you click on this book, um, as in uh, you're a new user, it goes into the explanation, has some links on how to play, and basically some explanation about the game in and of itself, how to earn, the, the glint has been added, and basically just explaining everything, uh, giving a little bit of a walkthrough. Um, and you have your typical uh, hyperlinks to how to play, practice, and challenge, which have, things have just been moved around a little bit. So uh, I'm not saying whether I like it better or worse. It's just gonna. It's just one of those things that's going to take time to get used to. Um, and uh, like I said, the the primary motivation behind that is making it better and easier to use on the mobile client. Okay, that's been a brief news break. Uh, brief on uh, what's happened in Splinterlands today. Uh, like I said earlier, if you like this kind of coverage, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy, and I will see you on the flip side.